So I purchased this dye from the beauty supply store. It's in the shade lavender, and I just have two bottles. Then I have some gloves so my nails don't get messed up. Then I have a brush that I just purchased from TJ Maxx to help me detangle the hair once it is dyed. Then I have the hair dye brush to kind of help me stir around the dye once it's in. Then I have the wig I purchased. It's from Elva's Wig. And I got it in the 6 one, 613 color. Um, just And I'm just showing you guys me taking it out and so you can see it. So I'm pouring the bo boiling water into the bin and then once I pour all the water in I'm going to get the dye and I'm going to start mixing it around into the bin. I put only one bottle in at first so I could just see how the color takes to the wig and then I add as needed. So here I am taking the hair out of the bin and I'm just kind of trying to get the excess water out. I'm checking to make sure that I like the color and then I'm going to take it out to let it dry. Here I am just securing the wig onto the head and I'm going to just take my brush and begin to detangle it and just check how all the dye is around the hair making sure I like it. <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys, so basically this is the final look of my hair once it's installed and everything. So clearly as you've seen, I purchased the wig already made and I watercolored, method, dyed it myself. I went to this girl, uh, her name is on Instagram, The Glam Bar. I will put her at name in the description. And she installed it, styled it, she did amazing. I love it. So she, um, these are my like day two curls. I just brushed it out and it still looks great. So the main reason I decided to do purple was because it's the Bissell Awareness of the month. Everything's purple, even my nails are freaking purple. I just thought, okay, I'll do purple to just switch things up and it looks great. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.